Welcome to a virtual tour of the Center for Gamma Ray Imaging. CGRI, as we call it, is a biomedical technology resource center funded by the National Institute for Biomedical Imaging and Bioengineering. As you will see during this tour, CGRI addresses virtually all aspects of biomedical imaging with radionuclides. We have developed a wide variety of gamma ray detectors, novel data acquisition and data processing methods, and many new imaging systems that advance the state of the art in gamma ray imaging. CGRI technologies find application in basic biology, preclinical imaging, and clinical nuclear medicine. More broadly, however, CGRI is also a world leader in image science. With gamma ray imaging as a model and test case, CGRI applies sophisticated theories and algorithms from image science to the real world of molecular imaging and clinical medicine. A crucial part of image science is objective assessment of image quality. Our guiding principle is that image quality must be defined by how well the images can be used to perform specific tasks of clinical or biomedical significance. Everything we learn about objective assessment of image quality in the context of gamma ray imaging is immediately applicable to other realms of biology and medicine and to imaging writ large. Often the translation of theoretical image science into practical applications is carried out by PhD students in the image science track in our world-renowned College of Optical Sciences. CGRI project leaders Lars Furenlid, Eric Clarkson, and Matt Kupinski teach the graduate courses in image science that provide our students with the theoretical background they need for this endeavor. Our guide for the first part of this tour is Dr. Lars Furenlid, a founding member of CGRI. CGRI's home is in the University of Arizona's Radiology Research Laboratory a cluster of buildings that comprise the research complex of the Department of Medical Imaging. CGRI occupies a total of 5,000 square feet of laboratory and office space and has shared access to a machine shop, a climate-controlled computer cluster room, and video-equipped conference room in which we hold our regular CGRI group meetings. We'll start our tour with an overview of the instrumentation development facilities. CGRI has a comprehensive detectors and systems technology development program that starts with research on the fundamental aspects of interactions of gamma rays with matter and the solid state and quantum effects in both direct conversion and scintillator detector materials. For example, optical sciences graduate students are studying the statistics of scintillation light in a variety of materials in a laboratory dedicated to detector material characterization. We have a dark room containing a small dry box and a radiance measuring instrument that we use for testing the light output and angular distribution of new scintillator samples that we receive from our technical collaborators or buy from commercial vendors. We are working with monolithic material for our modular gamma cameras, which get used in our large stationary fast-baked systems. A key strategy for extracting all of the information possible from every detected gamma ray photon is to design acquisition electronics that preserve all signals from each gamma ray event at full precision. We call it super list mode. CGRI maintains a strong electronics design and fabrication capability and builds its own super list mode acquisition systems in its surface mount electronics shop. These include front-end boards for digitizing detector signals and back-end event buffers and PCI Express interface cards. CGRI has developed and patented an alternative approach to scintillation cameras that uses structured scintillators in a technology that we call iKID, here being demonstrated by Brian Miller. Conventional scintillation cameras allow weak scintillation light generated by individual gamma ray interactions to spread broadly over a set of photomultiplier tubes before it is sensed and converted into a set of electronic signals. The statistics of the weak signals limit intrinsic camera resolutions to be on the order of millimeters. We have developed an alternative approach using columnar cesium iodide that keeps the scintillation light together in a small region on the exit face, uses optical gain from an intensifier to amplify these images of individual gamma ray scintillation events, and then capture these much brighter vent images with megapixel CMOS or CCD detectors like those used in digital cameras. We've written software for graphics processing units that analyze streams of camera frames in real time, 
extracting the tight pixel neighborhoods that contain the images of individual gamma rays and preserve them as super list mode data. The result is a new type of gamma camera with exquisite spatial resolution, now measured in units of tens of microns. Our development work has resulted in a very compact design that takes advantage of the tremendous recent advances in digital cameras and high-speed computing. We've been awarded patents on the use of this approach for SPECT, PET, X-ray, and charged particle imaging. CGRI also works with solid-state detectors that directly capture gamma rays. Our early work in cadmium zinc telluride pixel detectors established some of the fundamental design considerations, such as a small pixel effect and strategies for acquiring pixel neighborhoods to overcome issues with charge sharing. These ideas continue to influence the field. In our latest work, we're using double-sided cross-strip designs with both silicon and cadmium telluride. We have been performing synchrotron X-ray experiments to characterize the 3D signal dependence in cadmium telluride detectors from our technical collaborators at the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency. These synchrotron data allow us to develop fissure information matrices that describe how well the detectors perform if we use maximum likelihood methods to deduce event parameters such as 3D position and energy. Indeed, super list mode acquisition and maximum likelihood methods of event parameter estimation are the key themes underlying our detector work. The payoff comes in the imaging systems we build and bring online. CGRI builds complete systems in its overall mission to advance the state-of-the-art in gamma ray imaging with a focus on preclinical spec as our demonstration modality. The FASTPIC2 system is our workhorse for dynamic studies. 16 cameras acquiring in parallel provide super list mode data time stamped with a 30 nanosecond precision. That allows image reconstruction at arbitrary time points or even estimation of kinetic parameters from raw list mode data. On-the-fly maximum likelihood estimates of event positions and energies are so fast in our GPU implementation that real-time images from all 16 cameras are computed and made available on the single acquisition PC. The companion small animal CT system known as FACT can provide an anatomical framework to complement SPECT images or be used in a standalone capacity for CT research. It has unique features including the ability to change beam extent, magnification, and helical pitch mid-acquisition. All of our small animal imaging occurs under protocols established by CGRI veterinarian Dr. Gail Stevenson. We're fully equipped with state-of-the-art anesthesia systems and animal monitoring instrumentation to ensure animal welfare. No emission tomography laboratory is complete without a PET capability, and we have leveraged our gamma ray designs, time-stamped list mode acquisition systems, and our list mode EM reconstruction algorithm to develop a compact system called ModPET that will image an experimental mouse and a control mouse side by side. A sister system is under construction that will reside in the Arizona Cancer Center imaging core. Insertion of parallel hole collimators converts the system to a planar spec scintigraphy mode that has proven very useful scientifically as a companion to our tomographic imagers. These laboratories are also outfitted with ancillary instruments, such as well counters, dose calibrators, and an autoradiography system that provide needed data for quantitative molecular imaging. This next laboratory is the home of iKID development, including the FASTPEC-3 imager. FASTPEC-3 is the latest generation of the multi-camera stationary systems that image without any motion of animal or cameras. It was designed to provide high-resolution spec images of rodent brain models of neurodegenerative diseases. There are 20 iKID cameras viewing the brain from different directions and streaming some 4,000 frames per second. One of the interesting challenges was how to manage the huge amount of data acquired and processed by this system and used in the reconstructions. A key part of FASTPEC-3 is the rack of ultra-fast computers that can perform 20 trillion floating point operations per second. This next laboratory contains a number of interesting systems as well as our camera calibration facility. A key to successful maximum likelihood methods is the development of accurate likelihood models and there is no better way to acquire or validate those than with exhaustive calibration, which we accomplish with collimated sources and accurate stages. 
This lab also holds one of our most technically advanced imagers to date, a system that combines the power of a precisely engineered skew-slit collimator with a true megapixel solid-state gamma-ray detector with a 58 micron intrinsic resolution. Computer-controllable horizontal and vertical slits allow independent adjustment of magnification in the X and Y directions, referred to as anamorphic projection, and independent adjustment of the resolutions and sensitivities as well. Being able to flexibly adjust systems in response to acquired data adds a new dimension to biomedical imaging that we have termed adaptive imaging. CGRI has brought together an incredible team of scientists and students with expertise in detector development, system design, system modeling, and image quality assessment. The combined expertise in all of these areas enables advancement in imaging technology and methodology. And nowhere is this more apparent than with the development of adaptive imaging that has taken place at CGRI. An adaptive imaging system optimizes the system configuration automatically so that task performance is maximized for a particular patient. With adaptive imaging, the concepts of image science and image quality assessment are an integral part of image acquisition. CGRI has developed and built four adaptive imaging systems, starting with the prototype adaptive imager designed and built in 2006. This system was used to demonstrate the potential advantages of adaptive imaging over static systems in terms of task performance. It allowed for changing magnification and sensitivity on the fly. We have also applied the concepts of adaptive imaging to small animal CT systems. The FACT system allows for changing magnification and helical pitch as the animal moves through the scanner. With the addition of adjustable beam stops, the FACT system can shape the X-ray exposure to maximize the information acquired in specific regions of interest. We have in-house capability for calibrating this system to high precision. This allows reconstruction even with the complicated and highly non-standard acquisitions that occur when the system configuration is changing rapidly. Finally, this is our Adaptive Spec system, which uses 16 of our modular cameras, each mounted on an independent translation stage. An adjustable collimator slides in and out to select the pinhole or pinholes for each of the cameras. There are three different magnifications available, and we can choose between using five pinholes or a single pinhole per camera. With this system, we get the benefits of a stationary spec system combined with the task performance benefits of adaptive imaging. All of these capabilities enable CGRI to engage in a diverse portfolio of collaborative research in cardiology, oncology, neurology, image science, and other areas. We provide service to the community through assistance in acquiring preclinical spectrum PET images guidance on advanced detectors for gamma rays, x-rays, and charged particles, methodology and software for assessment of image quality, fabrication capabilities for phantoms, collimators, pinhole apertures, and detectors, and advice and assistance on animal models, animal handling, and radio labeling for molecular imaging. If you're interested in learning more about how our technologies can help in your research, we invite you to contact any member of the CGRI team visit our website, or attend our biennial workshop on small animal spec.